welcome to this lecture in this lecture we'll see the exploitation of the xss attack which is url redirection so first of all what is url redirection so url redirection is basically when the user want to visit some website but instead of just going or redirecting to the original website they will be redirected to another harmful or malicious website where that website can be the hacker's website or the clone of the website where the user or the hacker will just get the credentials from the user from the social engineering toolkit or basically they can also get the um, credentials of the user from the phishing so let's see how this works so first of all let's see for the xss attack because the primary thing for the url redirection is the xss so let's see this is our test website so i have already uh, made the target of this test website and if i just go to this website or basically to this link and uh, let me just send this to the repeater as always so let's send to the repeater and uh, i'll see for this pp parameter over here so let's see hello and let's press go and let's see if this hello has been reflected or not so simply you can see hello has been reflected right here that means uh, it has the vulnerabilities or this is uh, the parameter that has the vulnerability for the xss so basically what you need to do is simply we'll just see this has the vulnerability that means we have to make some payload so let's see is the simple payload so let's check if we can just inject our malicious code so in this case it is a simple payload but it makes sense so let's press go let's see response okay first of all we need to see the response to the browser so i'll just copy this paste and go so you could see it has executed our code that means now we can just make url redirection to this link so all you need to do is simply go over here so instead of this what we have the payload so i'll just make sublime text and now instead of this payload that we just create over here which is let me just copy this and if i go to the sublime then you could see we have the link over here so instead of this payload we have to do something else so first of all it would be script because we want to just inject the javascript code right here so instead of this alert message we want to get the document which is basically the web page which is responsible for showing this page which is the document and we want to get the location so this is basically for the url so document dot location is the url and we want to redirect with this href tag to some other websites so now i want to make them redirected to let me say twitter.com so we can just do this simply make sure you put this code over here let's copy this first and let's see if this works or not so i'll just go over here so instead of this script i'll just pass our new script let me just press go let's see response in the browser let's paste here let it give a time and twitter has loaded over here so that means it has a url redirection so i'll just make some private window and now if i just go over here and if i see response in the browser that means when i just copy the link and when i just paste it down here then it is something like a bar but it is actually the link of test php so when i just hit enter it was the website of test php dot buln but it has redirection to the twitter.com so what has happened here was we just made a url redirection so user will think that they are going for the legit website or basically the websites which is uh, the, the genuine website but instead they will be redirect to the website of the hacker so instead of twitter it can be the hacker website so you can just redirect to your own website which will have the malicious payload so it can be your website name and that can have the payload 
and you can make user to just download that payload from your website and you can just get the reverse sale from the users or a client and you can do anything with the big team's computer with this simple url redirection so this is the way to just inject some of the url redirection with this simple code you can make the user to go to another website that they won't even imagine so this is the way to perform the url redirection so see you in the next one